massive education on the public sector persons who administer contracts, the MMDs, the MDs, because no matter how bad the contract is, how you administer it can create a judgment debt. I, I said not every bad, not every bad deal results in judgment debt. At times, it's the way we administer the contract. So if you have a situation where public servants are well educated on this, and in documentation, I represent the government on one occasion where the party on the other side said, oh, but you government people, you don't have documentation. And it happens because what may look to a lawyer as a very a document which can save us is thrown, and they don't even submit it to Attorney General who is defending us. So again, education on how to manage contracts, how to minimize the, the, uh, is something that we need to do. We need to educate the political class also. Yes, you want to deliver your promise, but does the agreement have to go at the last minute, which, which we've, we've talked about? I mean, experience, you can check this. If the agreements get to parliament, the closer it is, it, the, it gets to when they are rising, the more likely is it to go through. It, it, it's because at the very last minute, there is that pressure. So, so naturally, if you bring it at the very last minute when parliament wants to rise, they are sitting at 2 a.m., uh, the level of scrutiny may not be. So we, if they do make the, the new orders, right, as, as uh, Honorable Kujok Pankroma said, I think this will help. Again, that is attorney general, but a general education on the dispute resolution clause is one major reason we have the judgment debt. Now, in 2013 or so, I had the privilege to, uh, no, 2011, 2012, I had the privilege to help draft the, the uh, now, uh, now Act 1039, the PPP uh, Act. One of the consequential recommendations we made is that as a general rule for infrastructure, so far as the contract is in Ghana, the applicable law should be Ghana. That except for the finance or lending agreement, which we know if you are borrowing the money from us, the lenders will not accept Ghanaian law. So we understand that. But I'm telling you, I still know of contracts which is Ghana, the money is Ghana, everything. But the MMDAs and the MDAs are using English law because it just happens that the contractor has to be a foreign, is a, con a foreign contractor. That should not determine. There is a principle in the law called the center of gravity principle. The country to which the project is most associated should be the governing law because a lot of the mistakes we make, I'm not, I don't say we, I'm not saying we should make mistakes and get away with it, but a lot of the mistakes we make are carefully engineered by claim specialists and the rest who know that this will lead to an eventual judgment debt and I will get a ruling if I go to some other jurisdiction. So I think a lot of emphasis should be on the, the applicable law because we lose even before we start the contract. I mean, these are my recommendations. <laughs>